tell you, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. Ah! And living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Is this thing? <laughs> it looks kinda okay, actually it looks really cool. The warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. But you may call me Jack. This is Nerb. Mm -hmm. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. There she is. Incredible! Those statues. My sword! I can... Uh, I can almost reach it! Don't worry! I've got it! The town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Uh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. I don't know, Lucas. If there's one thing our adventures taught me, 
It's better to just be truthful. Let history speak for itself. I guess I can pull back on some of the, uh, the exaggerations. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. And you did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For, uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right, sorry. Uh... Uh, sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... Oh. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah... I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Guys, we're supposed to be a team here. It's our adventure night. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. You got your life, and we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. 
I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. I bet one of those would look awesome on the order hall's front lawn. Food? Always. Why? Jesse, dude! No, I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas. Is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the mine shaft. Mm hmm. Whoa! Wink! Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse! I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. 
Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. I mean, founding day is all about how you took down the wither storm and all. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Spitting in fate's eye. Yes! Uh, that move. That's the one we're doing. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? No! Oh, stupid zombie! Ah, oh, I missed this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. Look at that. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. Wish we could do this more often. Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready 
for more? <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. My step yet. Well, you sure showed me. I gotta say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Oh, come on. You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh,. Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm starving. <laughs> Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on!
take forever to get through these stupid web heads. Maybe we can seal them off somehow? Like, maybe a little lava. Totally did the trick. Ah, see ya. Hey, no fair. Oh yeah! In your face! <laughs> Petra! Petra! You're number one! You're number one! Okay, maybe I didn't win, but that still felt awesome getting back out there. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Come here, llama. Come on, come on. <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... <laughs> <laughs> armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you. Mayor Jesse? Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything.
Whoa, girl. What is it? Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. does. It's too bad it didn't come with an instruction manual. Well, uh, here. I'll help you take it off. Okay. Ow. Wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like... Maybe it was your destiny or something. Yeah, maybe it was down here waiting for me. Okay, that's just unsettling. Uh oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Ah. I got you, Jesse! Come on, let's get you up out of there! Okay, now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of... heck mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. I I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? Yep. Wow, that is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah. Agreed. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? Yeah, that works. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... that was really bad. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, 
I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... Yeah, I, I know, I know. But this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh... It's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, yeah. or... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like, Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. You're one of my best friends, and it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry, we're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! Champion City. <laughs> Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. Mm, I don't know if this is quite my taste. I prefer what we're doing in Beacon Town. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. Doesn't matter how other people want to build. That's why I like Beacon Town better, too. <laughs> what? Come on! We're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you think you look... You. Oh, Luna, my darling! You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. 
I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. Yes, that's right, my rival. I'm finally here to meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. <laughs> All free range, of course. Oh, I really, really wish I could. I mean, really, but I can't. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. We're... I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. Uh, I know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're going to do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Puppies. See? You like bones, right? Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty funny. 
She seriously thinks this makes you a hero? Treasure you got from other people? Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero! You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources! You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time! <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Check it out. That's right. It's Patra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. Oh, hi! Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Just hand over the sword, Stella. Don't make me get tough here. Fine. Fine. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right, the day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Classic rival. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. What is that? Stop that. Or those. Oh, that's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Ah! Oh, stupid cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. Ah! So good to have you back. No, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again.
I don't know how we're going to get this to hold. That heckmouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's got him. Come on, I'll show you the way. 